Hello. Today, the 1st of May. My mum's birthday. My mum's 90th birthday, I think. 90th, yeah. Uh, happy birthday, mum. And today, it's a day off, so I thought I'd give the car, Ek the Saxo, a bit of a spring clean. So, in so doing, I thought maybe just do a little video. A little video around the the Max Mountain World Mobile. Uh, I will be selling this car in a couple of months' time, so uh, I'll maybe even use this as uh, a little toury around. Okay, here is Eck the Saxo. The driver, the car, what he does. Okay, this is why it's called Eck. One reason. Eck. Yeah, okay. And she's in pretty good nick, really. Almost perfect. Just a few dents and dings. The previous owner was a farmer who also had an interest in uh, gardening and kept his garden tools next to the garage car. So, the antenna for the ham radio. I've purposefully hidden all the details of the sticker for the security. I'm not going to say anything. Pretty neat security system in this machine. Basically, to give a last word on it, someone breaks into this car, I'll know about it before they've left. And have activated things. Okay, and the front end, she's lovely condition again. Couple of dinks, I think that was a garden hole or something that did that, I don't know, but uh, certainly before my time. And the tourie around the back again. And of course, she sports the full regalia. A look in the boot. Two extra speakers I installed myself with the plugs so that the shelf can still come out. See she's fitted with rear headrests for the comfort of those in the back and of course the speakers themselves. Just to go round, continue round, this cable has to go that way for the antenna. Well we look inside. I keep one mounting permanently for all cameras, any camera I want on the headrest. And uh, pretty good in the back as well. Back seat rest as was required when this car was built. Little red do for I have for keeping my drinks in place when I'm driving. And there we go. Back of the Sun visor, another camera mount with one of my cameras up there. We have the dash cam. We have the GPS and the stereo system. The car did actually come with uh, the original radio cassette player, but needless to say, I wanted a bit better music than that. So. She's an automatic, I'll come back to that in a second. Installed as well as uh, the ham radio, President Lincoln Mark I. And there we have it. All the regulations for carrying stuff in the car, all there, maps and all sorts. I keep a map of Europe in the back of the, the driver's seat, or passenger seat. Look in the driver's side, and uh, again, high vis jackets and all the sorts, sunglasses, uh, spare lighter, tokens for the shops, <laughs> the trolleys, notepad, my DX and log for the radio, and yeah, she's an automatic. Not much in the way of kilometrage. As you can see, quite a feeble kilometrage for a little car like this. So, 
the automatic, the model, is the exclusive, which is the next one down from the VTR and the VTS, which were sports models. This was a comfort model, hence the Alcantara seats and general a lot more insulation and a few extra gadgets. Okay, let's have a look under the bonnet. See what I can find under there. An engine! Yay! It works. Okay. Bit of a delicate exercise doing this with camera in hand. So, yeah. All the cooling system I had replaced about a year after I bought it. Uh, it started threatening to overheat and stuff, so I thought, bugger it, get it all done. So it had a new pump, new radiator. New thermostats, new detectors, senders, sensors, you name it, to add it. Then, uh, they discovered a little fault in the electronics, so I had the electronic box redone at the factory at Siemens. And uh, then after that, on the end, I got the timing belt done and all the distribution thing. So that was done at 132,000 kilometres. It's now at 138, so she's in prime condition for whoever wants this car next. Uh, as I say, I will be selling it in a couple of months, make way for the next car, which uh, I'll keep secret from the channel exactly what that is. So, under the bonnet, pretty clean, pretty good, 17 year old vehicle, and of course, she's fully ticketed up. So, the control technique, I have it well insured. It was legal in Switzerland in 18, it was legal in Switzerland in 19. When I did my uh, north-south trip, I managed uh, 5,500 kilometres in two weeks without a problem. So there we go, Citroen Saxo from the year 2002 and a very comfortable, nice car. Sometimes refer to it as my Mini Merc. It really is uh, a very comfy machine. I have our shod and brand new tyres as well. Brand new Uniroyal all weather, mainly wet weather tyres. I've also got a spare set of wheels with uh, with all the, the winter tyres on which I've just replaced recently. Hence the, the full valley she's had today, or he's had today. Um, just getting it uh, all tidied and cleaned up and spruced up. So there we have it, Citroen Saxo. So inside, what's it like to drive? Let's find out. Right, we start up. First time every time. And being the automatic, just a case of guard, left foot on the brake, keep the car under control. And off we go. First gear, second gear, hardly noticed it. Yeah. And of course the manual override if I really want it. But uh, it's very rare, it's, it's, it's on a three-speed gearbox. Quite an old style one that doesn't have the, um, the torque converter lock. But it doesn't really need it. it uh, it's quite highly geared and it's very, very rarely in the wrong gear. Um, and when it is, you just uh, manually override it for uh, engine braking or acceleration uphill. So. Uh, so that's the Saxo, yeah, she's, she, she runs at speed nicely, cruises on motorways at 130, no problem. Uh, I'm not really killing it doing that, so... Just as we arrive back. And... Uh, head off home, park her back up in the garage. She spent all her days in the garage. Um, I, the previous owner, the farmer, used to keep in a garage every time, all the time, and of course, with me, um, I have the privilege that where I live and work, um, 
I'm very fortunate that I have a fully covered garage to park up in. So there we go. That's the saxo.